Thank you, thank you, and welcome to Rock Scene, the only news channel that is based entirely off rock music. Tonight's top story. We've possibly found the location of Elvis Presley, but is it really Elvis Presley? Our field man Shane Braxton has the details. Shane? Well, clearly there's no sign of Elvis. I personally think that he is dead, but... Oh my god, Elvis... Elvis has been spotted. Elvis has been spotted. Elvis! Elvis! Oh. <laughs> In a different time to stop us, he's dropped us on us. <laughs> Elvis! Elvis, come on out. I know you're in there. You're not Elvis. No. Why would you not if you're not Elvis? I had to poop. Can you say that on TV? I think so, yeah. Good. Well, can we get an interview with you anyways? Yeah, me. Just a second. So that was good too. Did it influence the way you dress any? No. Everybody tells me that. Everybody tells me that it influences the way I dress. Okay. Well, thank you for giving me that interview. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, that's no problem. Blink 182. Wait. You're not Blink. Who are you? They told me you. They told me they'd be here. You're Elvis. No. I'm not Elvis. Wait. Well then, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Get out of here. Thank you, Shane. That was an extraordinarily stunning report. On the darker side of news, apparently America is nothing but a killing name, as according to Slipknot. Slipknot is a new metal band who gained most of their popularity in 1995. A relatively dark band who masks their face and wears matching jumpsuits so that way they're not appreciated for their fashion, obviously. They often sing about how little they are appreciated, how little they are loved, and how much they hate America. We have an exclusive interview with a fan who will be telling us about the band and why the band has influenced him. We have Johnny Craig here with us tonight. Johnny? Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. It's nice being here. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about how the band has influenced you and your personal life. Some would say it's made me an angrier person, but, uh, I don't believe that. I think it's just made me more against the idea of taking crap. And, uh, also, Joey Jordison, man, he's, uh, he's my drumming hero. I've, I've gotten to where I can nearly imitate him perfectly. Like, if you listen to it, you don't hear a difference at all. It's perfect. Do the angry lyrics and music of the band reflect in any way the generation's feelings towards America or any sort of thing at all? I mean, it all sounds kind of pointless to me. I don't know what it is, but there's meaning. I guess, uh, I guess the meaning behind the anger would be that it's really aimed at an oppressed audience. And, uh... Well, I think. On a final note, could you show us some of those drumming skills that Joey Jordison sort of taught you how to do? Oh, sure, uh, yeah. We had my drums set up in the studio, uh... He's ready for a take a beating. Let's go. Wow. That's really extraordinary. While we're still on Slid now, let's have a listen to that song that reflects how they feel about America's government. It is called Gematria, the killing name. So listen, shall we? Oh, 
Well, that's possibly the most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my entire life. And for our final topic, we'll be talking about the band KISS. Now, KISS didn't really reflect anything that was going on in politics at that time, but they did give a fun party atmosphere during their shows, and their theatrics were certainly a spectacle. In fact, they influenced many bands to try to do the same thing, such as the band Nickelback. Despite the way you feel about them, they have intense pyrotechnics, and that's all thanks to KISS. Let me know that if there's a song that you would like for us to go over, please send it in in any sort of request, be it via email, via postcard, snail mail, or just a simple comment on the comment section. The comments. Comments. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening, morning, or night, or something like that, whatever it is you have. <laughs> okay, can we start over? Sorry. Well, that's possibly the most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my entire life.